Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Deed Harrison from Chiropractic Biophysics Seminars and Technique and Chiropractic Biophysics Nonprofit, a Spine Research Foundation. What I'd like to do in this video presentation is discuss the cervical denaroll in terms of the clinical randomized trials that my colleagues and I have performed showing that this device is capable of improving the cervical lordotic curvature, decreasing forward head posture, and also improving patient's pains, disability, and health outcomes. Now, oftentimes, patients think that they can just lie on a cervical uh, rolled pillow or a cervical towel in their bed or on the floor, and they can get the same results of improving the cervical curvature. While that's a good start, that's really not by itself going to change the cervical curvature. How do I know that? Well, these randomized trials that we're about to go through, we've studied the rolled towel as a placebo intervention as part of some of these trials. And what we find out is that lying on the cervical towel by itself does not change the cervical curvature. Now that doesn't mean don't lie on a towel rolled up under your neck at night. It's a nice thing to do. It's a start instead of lying on big pillows that put your head forward. Or better yet, get yourself a contoured pillow. For example, Denerol has a Denerol cervical pillow that is made for sleeping. However, it has not been found to change the cervical curvature by itself yet either. Really, the best evidence for changing the cervical curve is via in-office methods or this home orthotic, the Denerol. So what we're going to do is go through some of these trials that have studied the cervical Denerol so the patient and the doctors out there watching this get an idea of its effectiveness. Uh, first and foremost, I need to thank my colleagues, my friends, my research uh, allies overseas at Cairo University in Egypt and from the United Arab Emirates. Uh, we've teamed up over the last decade and we've produced several very, very important research trials showing the effectiveness of rehabilitating the cervical curvature. So without Professor Ibrahim Mustafa and Professor Aliyah Diab, uh, these studies would not be possible. So thank you very much uh, for your assistance with these uh, projects and all the time and, and hours. So does cervical spine correction improve pain, disability, and nervous system function in patient populations using the Denerol? Now, just to give you an idea of the effectiveness of the cervical Denerol, we, ha we have a video motion x-ray of a patient lying over the Denerol. And what you'll see when we place the Denerol peak in the lower cervical spine on the x-ray, it dramatically improves the cervical curvature. So here's the jaw up here, here's the top of the neck and the base of the skull, and you can see the shadow of the Denerol. And we see very deep extension at the segments that were around the peak of the denaral. It also very nicely improves anterior head translation posture when you place the denaral low enough. You will not get that same effect on a rolled towel or a pillow. So the denaral is key. When you see this type of video evidence, you realize in your mind as a patient, what does it do? Now keep in mind when you use the Denerol, you're going to lie on this Denerol starting at three minutes the first few sessions and then you're going to build up to where you can stay on the Denerol for 15 to 20 minutes per session. Now most people it takes one to two weeks to be able to lie on the Denerol comfortably in their cervical spine for 15 to 20 minutes. You don't wanna rush it too fast because it may create some soreness because your body's not used to the process of having a cervical curvature. So you've gotta follow the recommendations that your prescribing healthcare provider has set forth for you. Now, to find a practitioner that is trained in application and prescription of the cervical denaral, we're going to direct you to cbppatient.com. cbppatient.com is on the idealspine.com website. Now, if you'll go to this website, what you'll notice is when you do this as a consumer, you are able to find a patient directory uh, as part of the website. Now, cbppatient.com, there's multiple things that are on here as I pull up the website for the patient in terms of uh, what types of 
uh, information uh, a patient should read or look into when they're looking at corrective care for their cervical spine. The reality of it is though, uh, what I would like to show you here is uh, simply directing you uh, to how to use this website. So cbppatient.com is where patients can find doctors that are trained in the indications and contraindications for the cervical dental roll. Now what the consumer, the public, the patient has to realize is the dental roll is not something you can just buy on your own and use. It's, it's not a toy. It is an evidence-based prescription orthotic where you have to have an exam and an x-ray to identify are you a candidate for this device. So chiropractors that are trained in this will prescribe the dental roll for their patients that actually need this and are indicated candidates for it. So if you're out there, you're a consumer, you wanna know where to get the dental roll, you have to go to your prescription-based orthotic provider. In other words, you have to go to your healthcare provider. Now here, what we can do is we can look up multiple things on what CBP technique is, uh, which is the technique that has spearheaded the development for and, and the concepts for using the dental roll properly. So you can look at what chiropractic biophysics technique is, but the reality of it is, here's where I wanna direct you, is find a CBP trained and dental roll trained chiropractor in your area. So you just go to this uh, directory and it's really user friendly. You just type in your state, your city, your zip code, and then you hit the find button and you pull up different providers uh, in the area. For example, I'm sitting here right now in Eagle, uh, Idaho in the United States and this can be an international directory too and what I want to do is narrow my scope or my search down to 10 miles so what I'm going to do is search Eagle Idaho and you'll see that there's multiple providers here in Eagle Idaho which is really my clinic myself uh, Dr. Shirlene Harrison, uh, Dr. Joe Betts, who used to be uh, one of my uh, chiropractic uh, partners here at my uh, facility, who now has his own facility, uh, and you can look him up as well. And then multiple individuals, for example, Justin Anderson here, who is an associate doctor at my facility here in Eagle, Idaho. But hopefully what you can do as a consumer is you can easily access dental roll and CBP trained providers on this website and just call them up and say, hey, I'm interested to see if the dental is right for my cervical spine. And you'll have to go in and do an examination, spine x-rays of your neck to see if you're a proper candidate for this device. Okay, so that's the uh, dental directory and the CBP doctor directory. Okay, so hopefully you'll find that uh, information valuable for you. Uh, and then what we're going to do next is cover five separate randomized trials in a very patient friendly manner to where you can see the effectiveness and the outcomes of patient populations like yourself that has used the Denerol. So the first trial, uh, trial number one, a uh, randomized trial number one, does improvement towards a normal cervical configuration aid in the management of fibromyalgia, a randomized controlled trial. This was published in the Bulletin of the Faculty of Physical Therapy at Cairo University in 2013. This is volume 18, number two, pages 29 through 41 by my good colleague and friend, research partner, uh, Professor Ibrahim uh, Mustafa, PT, PhD. Now, here's the actual uh, study clip itself, so you can see that this is a legitimate publication. Right, and uh, you can access the full text of this if you look it up. Now, fibromyalgia can be a very debilitating and frustrating disorder for the patients that suffer with it, right? It's characterized by widespread pain, fatigue, sleep problems, memory problems, and really just irritability and moodiness just due to the disorder. And really it's because there's no real long-term hope for these people. Symptoms oftentimes be, uh, begin to occur after some kind of physical trauma to the head and neck. And in other cases, they just gradually develop over time. Maybe it's from poor lifestyle habits that you didn't even realize were affecting you until it's too late. Uh, unfortunately, females, women, are more likely to be diagnosed with fibromyalgia. And the signs and symptoms that are most common, not always, but most common, tension headaches, jaw problems, 
irritable bowel syndrome, anxiety, and depression. There's no real cure that's really been identified out there in uh, fibromyalgia sufferers, right? There's some short-term like helpful ideas, obviously diet, exercise, nutrition, and physical interventions play a role, but there's no real good long-term solutions uh, that have been identified in the literature. Now, recently, in the last couple years, after this randomized trial came out, this interesting project came out out of uh, Chicago. This is by researchers in Chicago, uh, Katz et al. What they identified is, they identified people with loss of their cervical curvature on x-ray are the ones that statistically have fibromyalgia compared to other types of patient populations and compared to control subjects. So look at this project just to give you a background on why we would want to rehabilitate the cervical curvature. The cervical spine in fibromyalgia patients, loss of lordotic curve is characteristic of fibromyalgia and can assist in the diagnosis. This is from arthritis rheumatology in a very uh, famous uh, research society conference and this was in published in the abstract proceedings of this society it was published in 2017 volume 69 supplement edition number 10 okay so what these authors did is they looked at 121 lateral cervical x-rays 84 of these 121 had chronic fibromyalgia 37 of these were non-fibromyalgia control subjects and it's a very simple study design, but it, it's very interesting in what they found. They gave the x-rays to a trained nurse practitioner, and the nurse practitioner either had to categorize the person just on their x-ray as a fibromyalgia case or a non-fibromyalgia case. And what the nurse did is she looked at the x-ray and she said, anybody with a straight or kyphotic neck is got to be in the fibromyalgia group. So she qualitatively looked at this and what was uh, of interest is that 66 out of the 84 fibromyalgia patients were accurately diagnosed. 75% of the fibromyalgia patients were accurately diagnosed just by looking at the x-ray and saying, yep, that's a loss of the curve, abnormal curve. That person's gotta have fibromyalgia, right? And also 29 of the 37 control patients were accurately diagnosed as being in the control subjects because they had a well-defined cervical curvature. So they put forth this graph. Here's the number of patients with fibromyalgia, and here's the ones in blue that were accurately diagnosed just by screening from their x-ray. 66 out of 84, and then non-fibromyalgia controls, 29 out of 37. So then here's the x-ray images. Fibromyalgia subjects are people with straight necks, forward head posture, or kyphotic necks and forward head posture. So just a simple lateral cervical x-ray can tell you you've got loss of your cervical curve and it's more likely than not you're a fibromyalgia sufferer. So if, if you're out there and you know somebody with fibromyalgia and you have fibromyalgia yourself, this is a very important thing to consider. You have to look at this as one of the features of the condition. Let's do something to properly intervene and correct the lateral cervical curve. And so what was done in this trial by Professor Mustafa is he implemented the cervical denaral into a multimodal program of people with fibromyalgia. And the group that got allocated to the denaral had the best long-term outcomes. Why? Well, the denaral was able to rehabilitate the cervical curvature by 12 to 14 degrees and improve anterior head translation in the fibromyalgia group that got the denaral. Now, the key feature is it wasn't just arbitrarily given to everybody. There was a diagnosis and then there was an x-ray. If you fit using the denaral, then you were a candidate for this. And then over 10 weeks of intervention, People used the denaral three times a week for 10 weeks. And then a follow-up lateral cervical was ascertained and further questionnaires. And then there was a long-term follow-up. A minimum of a one-year follow-up was performed and the group that got the denaral, the group that got cervical curve correction, they fared better. They did better with their psychosocial parts of, of the condition. They did better with the pain and disability. They did better with the sleeping and the emotional aspects of it. So this is a very important clinical trial on the denaral. It shows that it can improve the cervical curve and it dramatically helps people 
suffering from fibromyalgia compared to standardized interventions alone. Hopefully you appreciate and enjoy this clinical trial. And if you want more information, please just read the full text. Uh, go online, you can access uh, this full text paper. Uh, thank you for your time and attention.